Do you like my chair? This is the Werner Panton chair. I'm David Jackson, your interior designer on demand. And today's post is about interior design focal points. In this video, you're going to learn five ways to create a stunning focal point. But what is a focal point and is it important? Well, I can tell you that without it, you won't succeed because in interior design, it's essential. A focal point is a place of attention where we're compelled to look. It occurs naturally in the entry and when we look down a hall or up into a stairwell. Focal points are a great place to start any interior design. And I would even go so far to say that if you fail to address the focal points in your interior, you are missing out on the perfect chance to make a huge visual impact on your interior. have an invisible axis line and an axis line is a line of movement and you can't ignore it. I'll give you an example. In architecture there are elements that tell our eyes that there's an axis line. For example, a row of columns. When was the last time you were inside a cathedral and you stepped inside a nave and you saw the large vertical structures moving up into the Gothic hall? That pulls you further and further into the space. Towards what? Towards the altar, which is the focal point. So this is why architects use this. It's a compelling and sometimes spiritual experience to be inside a structure or a building and a space that has a focal point being drawn into by an access line. I'll give you another example. Architects of antiquity frequently align the longitudinal axis of their buildings towards the prime meridian. Now the prime meridian was also used to locate the very centers of many cities. You've heard of the Rose Line, right, from Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code? That's an axis line. And center points of cities are focal points. So if you go even further back in time, megalithic builders aligned their buildings to the equinox to capture the sun. Now they did this because they were synchronizing astronomical events with ritual calendars. Some of them chose not to align their buildings to the equinox, but rather to the summer or winter solstice. So they would align their buildings by an axis to the furthest point north, sunrise, in the summer, or towards the furthest point south in the winter solstice. So what I'm driving at here is that there is a very rich heritage of symbolism and meaning that goes with axis lines because they all lead to focal points. Case in point again. Cool chair, huh? 